my fellow hobbits, wizards, elves, and dwarves out there. It is just me and my kitty. And today we would like to tell you a tale. A tale of Samwise the Brave. Yes, I am so excited because my Riddles Tea Shop um, tea box has just arrived and I'm so excited. As we can see, it is the tale of Samwise the Brave. It is the cutest box I have ever seen, mainly because it actually looks like a proper book. And I'm definitely going to um, store some of my favorite Lord of the Rings slash Hobbit slash Middle Earth items in this box because it is just too perfect and I think it will look absolutely adorable like just sitting on my shelf. So with that being said, let us open up this sweet little thing, shall we? Oh, there it is. You, what do we see? Ooh, so Samwise the Brave Journey Mementos. So um, as River Song would say, these are our spoilers. I'm just gonna set those aside for now. And so here is the inside. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Riddle's Tea Shop, it is a really cool, small tea business. And maybe if you watch some of my Owl Crate unboxings, um, the teas that Owl Crate use is from Riddle's Tea Shop, and they are so, so yummy. That's actually the whole reason I started my Owl Crate box was because of a Riddle's Tea Shop tea. <gasps> oh, here's our little teas. So there's going to be teas and other goodies, and I'm going to be trying some of them along the way. Okay, so the first one I see is Stout of Heart. So these are all loose leaf teas. And let's see, it says, I taste peach, Sam says as he swishes the tea in his mouth. And apple, splendid. This blend, Stout of Heart, was recommended by his good friend, Meriduk. He thinks that he will get some more for his pantry. These are so cute. Okay, so there is our first one. So it's definitely a peachy flavored tea with marigold flowers and apple pieces. Next is Rose and Reverie. So black tea, cinnamon, ginger, and cocoa nibs. Here's the little back on here. There we go. And it says, while on the road, Sam stops for second breakfast and pines for the lovely rose cotton. He keeps a pouch of the Rose and Reverie, a blend of tea he purchased from Cora Goodbody. Mmm, chocolate and rose hips, Sam says, as he smells the steeping brew. Oh, this is so neat. Okay, next. Campfire Companions. So another beautiful little, um little image right there. It says, the stars in the night sky remind Sam of Lady, Lady Galadriel and his time in Lithorn. He chases down memories of friends and fellowship with a tea called Campfire Companions. It is a smoky blend, sweet and rich, like his longing for home. Oh, that one's so sweet. Next, ooh, we have a big bag. Oh, Sleepy Shire. So this is a larger bag and it has a lovely little hobbit hole on it. And it says that this one is a decaffeinated Cylon with white cornflowers, chamomile, and marigold and creme flavor. After long travels and final farewells, a tired but happy Sam sits in a comfy chair with a mug of sleepy shire. The tea makes his hobbit hole smell of cake and marigold as he nods off off head swimming with adventures and heart full of love for his fellowship oh and then next we have some lovely goodies in here oh so the first thing I see is a little um, kind of leather like bookmark and it says share the load and that's so sweet because we all know if you can't carry the ring he can carry you Mr. Frodo. Oh, this is going to look fit perfectly with the books. Lovely. Next, ooh, we have some little wiggly, or it's making a little jingly sound in here. What do we have? Okay. Ooh. So, ooh, so it's kind of like a little do-it-yourself blend. So we have some orange peel, rock sugar, and it's stamped on the top. That is so clever. And 
rose petals. Oh, this is so neat. I'm gonna have such fun, and these definitely can be refilled. I do have some, um, I think it's Belgian rock sugar. So I'm gonna set those right there. That is so neat. Next, ooh, we have a pin. Hey, wait, you get to be the first to see it. I don't know what it says. All right, what? oh, it's a little cauldron with some potatoes. And it says, be brave, it is made out of wood. Oh, this is fantastic. I'm going to stick it on right now. Here we go. How do we look? Nice little bravery badge. Although, maybe it's not a good idea without the back. Because that might be a little pokey. Okay, next. Oh, there's a teeny tiny little pine cone. Okay, that is so cute. And something very hobbity. Next, we have some lovely envelopes. I have been so excited waiting for um, this box. I pre-ordered it back um, end of summer, beginning of fall, and I'm so excited that it's here. Ooh, okay, so we have a little hobbit hole, and it's a little notepad. Oh, I love it. Oh, these will make um, shopping and lists to go on quests so much fun. And there's a goodly amount there, too. Oh, that is so neat. Okay, I'm gonna slide that right there. And hopefully it doesn't knock over the glass vials. Okay, next. Oh, my, there's even more envelopes. This is so much fun. Oh, okay, I just saw at the bottom we have some lovely vinyl stickers. These are so cute. Oh my gosh, look at them! Oh, we have tater stew, mashed taters, tomatoes, sausage, and nice crispy bacon, and llamas bread. Ooh, and even more llamas bread. I like taters, precious. Are there taters? You know, potatoes, boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Oh, I do love a good tater. Okay, so I'll set those there. Now, what should we do? Should we go for the green envelope or the brown one? Let's save the green for last and go with the brown one. We need our trusty pocket knife to open it. Hopefully I'm not ripping anything. Do -do -do. Leave a comment down below who your favorite character from the Lord of the Rings or the Hobbit is. Um, I definitely think Sam is my favorite. I cannot wait to frame this because we have a little picture of Sam the Brave. Look at him! Look how cute he is as a little bear. Oh my gosh. Oh, and I love that. If you look right here, it's some little potatoes. Oh, I love it. Okay, I'm gonna set that one there. That is so dang cute. So, have you commented down below? How many of you have the same person that you like? Okay, ooh, next, or lastly, nextly, we have recipe cards. And I think I'm going to have to put my favorite tater, tater stew, or boil them and mash them recipes on here, because those are really cute. So let us see what our spoiler card says before we try some of these tea. So we have loose leaf tea blends, travel seasoning, bravery badge, shire notepad, travel recipe card, Samwise the bear watercolor portrait print, bakery sticker sheets, and faux leather bookmark. Okay, so that is so neat. So here is our spoiler card. I will go through it so you can read it. And I am just going to go off and make some of the lovely tea blends. So, that being said, one moment, please. Alrighty, I have returned from a steeping. So, the first tea we're going to try is Stout of Heart. So, this is the marigold and peach flavored tea. And it smells absolutely divine. It's a lovely multi-tea color. So, quick sniff. Oh, smells like fresh peaches. I'm really hoping they will have these um, available in the shop and they're not just um, specialty to the box only because this one smells amazing. 
Oh, that's refreshing. It is a beautiful peachy black tea. Oh, so good. Mmm. That, that definitely makes me feel stout of heart, and I'm sure Pip and Mary will absolutely love this tea, especially if they're having it with Sam. Mmm. That is lovely. Next is the Rose and Reverie tea. So when I opened this, you could really smell the rose and just that lovely subtle hint of chocolate. And again, it is a really lovely malty black tea, so classic black tea color. Mm, you can really, it's like the perfect blend. It's not too rosy, not too chocolatey. They're not fighting each other. It smells really, really nice. Ooh, this one's pretty. If, okay, if you can call tea pretty, this one is really nice. Mmm. Mmm. I almost wish there was a candy that was like this. Um, comment down below if you know of any, like, rose-flavored chocolates. I know, like, Turkish Delight, but I don't think there's any rose chocolate-covered Turkish Delight, but this is so good. Mmm. Okay, the next one threw me for a loop because it is Campfire and Companions. And I had to double check on the ingredients and I finally figured out what it is. So this tea has Lapsang Shushan in it. And that specific type of tea is usually a smoked tea. And so I think it's smoked with pine wood, but it actually smells like a campfire, which is absolutely crazy. It reminds me of, oh shoot, what was that movie? Winter's Tale? I think there was a movie called A Winter's Tale and... Um, and the character in it, she liked Lapsang Souchon. So this definitely smells of a campfire. Mm. I think it has other things in it. It has like ginger, clove, and cardamom, and cinnamon. But all I am tasting is that Lapsang Souchon. And like maybe right at the end, the spices, but it's predominantly that um, smoked tea. But that is very interesting. Mm. It is like a campfire in a cup, which is so crazy. So lastly, we have Sleepy Shire, and this one smells really yummy, and like just the name makes me smile. It's like cozy, sleepy little Shire time, and it smells really, really delicious. And it is, again, a lovely tea color. Except that His Royal Highness Rory has decided to put one of his little hairs in there. Rory George. He, he likes to show up in videos. Ooh, that is interesting. The, the cream flavor I'm usually used to, like in an Earl Grey um, creme, but having it with chamomile is really, really different. Mmm. That is soft and comforting and cozy. I really, really liked it a lot. Um, which tea sounds interesting to you? Please do comment down below. I think the ones that I really liked was um, the rose tea and the peach marigold tea. Those were just really bright and uplifting. Um, the, what is it, Campfire Companions. That one is cool as a novelty tea. Um, Definitely might be something fun to have at a campfire. If you could have too much campfire, I don't think there is such a thing. And then the other one's really cozy, but I like the two um, first ones best. So yeah, I hope everybody has enjoyed this video and review. Um, it's kind of become a tradition that at least once a year I end up doing some kind of Lord of the Rings unboxings. I mean, we've had the Enchanted Fandoms boxes, we've had the Litjoy box, and um, the Books and Leaf um, Hobbit Shire box. So yeah, I was hoping it would have come in 23, but here it is in 24. And I hope everybody has enjoyed this video. Do comment down below what your favorite item was. And don't forget that I am doing a giveaway that runs until the end of this month, so the information is linked down below. That being said, if you're interested in checking out another video, you can go ahead and click right here. And if you are new, welcome little hobbitses to my channel and go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there so that you never miss a video ever again.
Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you all later. Precious. <laughs> Bye. Sorry, I just thought of a really funny pun. Um, forget Smeagol. I am now Teagle. Okay, that's all. Bye!